Yo, 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 my people. Today I'm going to be building a house in Bloxburg that I'm going to need your help to finish. I put six different pictures of houses on this wheel spinner and I got these from my build inspo board on Pinterest. And before I spin the wheel, let me give you a better look at these houses because I feel like they're so small on this. We have one that's like kind of a huge cottage core house. Like it's not a cottage because it's too big for that, but it's cottage core. We've got like a cabin here and then this like modern cottage type of thing. And then this one that's pretty cottagey itself. <laughs> And then this one, I don't know, I kind of think of that as like a little castle-y cottage. And then this one's just like a two-story cottage deal. It's so cute and flowery. I love it. But the way this is going to work is that I'm going to build the house exterior and maybe like one room in the house and also the rest of the layout too. And then on stream this coming Saturday, I'm going to have a few of you each do one room in the house. Keep watching to the end to figure out how you might be chosen for that. And I'll also have all the details of like when the stream is going to be and everything in the description or in a pinned comment or something okay time to spin the wheel which house are we gonna be doing i'm so scared i'm always scared i feel like a lot of these are very intense <gasps> oh my gosh okay i didn't even think before which one i would want but if i wanted one it would be this one yes 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 Alrighty, so we're on our fresh lots fresh plots and looking at this house i think Azria's built this house before like years ago probably and as excited as i was to build this now looking at it like the landscaping and stuff i'm like oh that's a little bit more intensive <laughs> than i feel cut out for but we're gonna try so for now i'm just doing you know the little way that leads up to the house something i'm definitely not realizing or thinking about with this is the fact that we don't have actual porches in Bloxburg. I haven't had to do this in forever, but I realize I'm gonna have to like make a porch, uh, probably with a roof if I can find it. There we go. Okay, you know, what? I'm getting way too ahead of myself because I still need oh no, oh no, oh no, I have regrets. <laughs> I still need some steps up to the porch as well. Okay, I'm actually only gonna do that one extra step because I'm scared it's getting way too high and it's lined up perfectly to where the porch can start too. Remember when I said that stick? led all the way to where the porch would start yeah no that was false and voila we have a porch okay there we go problem solved i pushed it back with the transform tool thank you okay we can worry about other details later it is time to actually build this house it's gonna be interesting figuring out how to deal with all the different like gaps oh wait i thought there was a gap that was gonna be here never mind but there's a gap right here so gonna have to figure that out some of this house is definitely hidden by a tree but i'm gonna do a little something interesting and do a little bump out right there and I realize that this house may be a bit bigger than I'm used to or a bit bigger than I kind of anticipated. <laughs> okay, I'm just adding a little bit of shape to the back because we don't want just a flat back. There we go. Don't ask me what that area is. I have no idea. We just want something interesting here. And then you can see what kind of looks like maybe some type of carport or something on the side because there's like those pillars. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Something like that. And then that's going to let me start roofing. Okay, so we've got our main roof, our main gabled roof and that goes pretty high maybe not that high boom and then we have a slanted roof coming off of that covering the porch Ooh. okay can you see how this is already starting to look like the house coming together oh i regret not doing this gabled roof immediately after the first one and i'm gonna let this one go all the way through to the back just because like the more roofs the merrier and you know if you look closely this gabled roof over this carport thingy is kind of interesting because it kind of looks like a gabled roof with slanted roofs so I'm gonna try this out. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I forgot that I can't just do that. Lovely. There we go. I was gonna start doing this gable roof over here, but it's kind of similar to this one. So I'm gonna see if I can pull this off first. I'm scared it's gonna flop, but oh, 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 wait, it actually is kind of working. Yeah, that does it. Woo. Okay, so I feel like I can try it on the other side too once I'm finished here, but I'm a little bit scared with the other side because of the fact that I'd have to make the gable roof so much thinner. Dinner. Also, that doesn't line up. Oh no. Okay, I have another plan. I have another plan. We're just gonna do this gabled roof like normal. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we're gonna bring in the slanted in front of it. So it's a little bit different than the last one. And I don't know if it's important that I do it over here too, but I feel like I might as well. I don't know. I kind of like it. Although I feel like it looks weird from this angle. <laughs> it looks like it's about to take off or something. Man, we're getting places. I'm loving this. I feel like this is our closest chimney to what's on the house or on the inspo anyway, but it's much shorter. Okay, do you 
see how we have the same house shape oh my gosh okay something else i can go ahead and already do is some wall trim because there's like clearly a foundation to this house but in blackberry we gotta settle for wall trim <laughs> oh you know it might not even be foundation that might be just be part of the window like it goes underneath the window uh i'm so tempted to just do a <laughs> fake foundation type of thing because it'd be so cute i feel like i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it it doesn't have to be perfect i guess right maybe that should have been the whole premise is like this is just inspo i'm not trying to perfectly recreate it necessarily <laughs> oh my gosh wait do you see like the actual material of the wall and the inspo pick because i think one of our new materials is that i haven't actually used it but there's yeah painted brick wall oh why is that so amazing how is that lily white though oh oh i don't like that it's so gray no matter what you do like that's literally as white as you can go yikes i don't know is the actual brick a little bit too much it feels like too much you know what i'm just gonna go with plaster that's like the best bet okay i need to do the dormers i'm like here coloring and i'm like it's weird that i can't actually color the dormers because i don't have them they don't exist yet what oh it just keeps getting better and now we have the roofs and it's still getting better oh my gosh i love it i love it here okay don't mind this one being quite wonky tonk <laughs> i had to do what i had to do i feel like these factory windows are gonna come in clutch for us oh my gosh i just realized i have one spot that doesn't have a roof yet whoops oh and these roofs aren't even oh no <laughs> they're not even lined up with the other roof oh my gosh girl what you doing and i still did the same thing oh my oh my <laughs> there we go finally you know what i'm actually not gonna put a roof on this because i just had the thought that that could be like a sunroom or something that might be fun okay i'm gonna leave that alone until we decide what that is for real i'm obsessed with these new shingles they are amazing <gasps> okay i was thinking like why did i think we have the right material for this other slanted roof but one of the new materials is kind of close although i'm not obsessed with it and i feel like the colors aren't meshing as well as they do in the actual house Ooh, maybe darkening the cloudy gray helps oh darn it i forgot that i can't put an actual window up here oh no yeah i don't know whether i'm gonna leave that empty or try to find a decal to put up there that'll be a problem for future nao tree sadly there's no perfect matching door but i feel like this is the best bet oh my goodness i forgot about this being an issue that we're gonna have <laughs> Okay, now that makes me so curious to see how tall this porch is. I'm scared now. I'm so scared. <sighs> That's very short, but it still works. It still works, technically. Woohoo, because <laughs> I'm an adult, so I'm definitely as tall as I can be. I feel like the best match to the lighting on the walls outside is this one. Oh, I was getting ready to say, but I don't really want to do it. You know what? It actually doesn't look too bad. I'm going to go for it. And it's funny because I would never use this one on my own, usually. Well, it do be looking nice on this house. Okay, there's some things with this like pathway that i'm realizing i need to do like this kind of has an overhang too okay bada bing bada boom now i gotta get the other side though oh mm -mm. what just give me this please there we go oh my goodness and a huge thing i haven't done is the pillars for the porch yet girl oh my gosh okay some of the new items we got i don't know if it's gonna work but they're kind of like structural support type of things they're not in here hello yeah this i feel like would be so perfect to create what we have going on here but i don't know if it's gonna work like on the pillars you know <laughs> it kind of does work it's a little different imagine if we could resize these that would work beautifully i mean i feel like this is the best way for me to recreate what's happening although it's a little bit you know understated compared to the real thing ah oh, that actually looks so good what the heck first time i'm using those finally okay this needs to come in a bit it's a little bit the one too much and you know what so does the other side too <laughs> okay and then this gap i just got a little basic shape to squeeze in there and voila almost hold up there we go voila perfect and then i'm just gonna use these hedges because there's like all these little tiny hedges in the real thing but i'm gonna use these ones probably make them a little bit bigger and that's gonna hide the fact that there is no actual support down there <laughs> i feel like placing these is always so satisfying for me okay don't mind the wonkiness going on over here okay 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 mm, all this over overlapping is not looking good <laughs> oh boy but what do you do when it doesn't let you resize it okay we're gonna redo this oh i just realized i could do something okay okay because i was still worried about these overlaps but 
we're gonna be fine you just wait and see look at that she has beauty she has grace there's not much i'm gonna do for like this area here but as you can see in the intel pick there's some nice big potted plants on the porch and this is not gonna do it i mean they pretty much all look like this one and okay so there's not gonna be that many because it'd be a bit much <laughs> and i'm gonna do my own plants in these i'm not gonna exactly copy what's in the picture i don't know why i feel like the porch looks like it's like marble or something like it's definitely white but i can't imagine it may seem weird but i'm gonna do that i don't know i just can't imagine what else to make it right now <laughs> i don't think it's wood it's gotta be some kind of stone right oh my gosh i forgot that we actually need a driveway too well it's a true fact a true statement i don't think i can handle it being the same material though i'm not I'm not a fan right now i don't know maybe that is the best bet right there so i did a tiny bit of gardening but i feel like i want to let y'all do the rest so i think i'm gonna leave it there and that actually like finishes our exterior besides the one roof that we're still not sure about back here but let's go on inside we need a layout here well looking from the inside i can tell that these windows are not centered so we gotta fix that place much better oh you know what i've just realized <laughs> is i was so focused on the windows on the front of the house that i didn't add windows to the rest of the house oh my gosh it's like something is off here something is missing okay i put a few windows in but i realized i do want a bit of a layout so i know where to actually put the windows well and i think for one thing we're gonna have a bedroom like over here right and then we can have another one over here and it'll be a little bit more interestingly shaped now i'd hoped to do something a little bit more interesting with this little bump out but i think it's just gonna be a bathroom and then i'm gonna make this a little bit interesting oh ho yeah that window gets in the way hmm okay i have an idea i have an idea i'm gonna do this and this is gonna be the only contribution that i make i think to you know the interior decoration um excuse me why is this acting like i can't put it there this is a wall blocksburg are you broken excuse moi okay it's fixed but you know what i just realized i'm putting this here but it does mean that specifically has to stay you know what okay blocksburg is broken <laughs> but yeah i'm putting this here but it doesn't mean it actually has to stay it just informs you that there should be an arch or an opening maybe i'll actually put an arched opening instead okay so then this is gonna be the kitchen and then i'm gonna have like a little like small table in this area it's like a little tiny breakfast nook and i was scared there wouldn't be enough space but there definitely is yay so i said i might do one of the rooms in here i don't think i'm going to after all y'all i'm so sorry this is already taking me so much time just doing this but i'm just gonna place furniture so that we know what rooms are what so this is the kitchen this is a little breakfast nook dining area and then this area is the living room nicely sized and then all of this is going to be like an entryway and a hallway i think one person will get that and then this is our one bathroom in the house it feels like it's not enough but at least we have one okay <laughs> and then so rare for me but we actually have two bedrooms woo okay so this is how i see it one person is gonna get some gardening you know you can do a little bit extra it doesn't even have to be too crazy honestly you know you get the porch you get all of this the landscaping whatever you want to do and then you also can do the bathroom because i can't just give one person the bathroom because that's gonna be so fast and then one person is gonna have like the entryway plus this hallway area so essentially just all this like open space and then someone else will have the living room so so far we're at three people the kitchen and breakfast nook area that's four people and then two more people for the bedroom so that's six we still need a roof back here <laughs> thinking about doing a slanted one i'm here for it the only thing we do need is some more windows but i think these ones are gonna be black i'm just realizing i didn't change the mailbox but maybe y'all can do that for me so like we just figured out i'm gonna be looking for six of y'all to help me finish this on stream this saturday most likely the stream will start around 2 p.m central standard time and for the actual building you'll probably have a about an hour and a half max to do it if we need that much time but if you want to be a part of it then make sure to send me a message either on instagram discord or twitter slash x whatever it's called these days and tell me what your roblox username is and also send me a picture of a build that you're really proud of in bloxburg and then i'll pick six of you who do that to help me with this on saturday on stream and speaking of discord i don't have an actual server but if you haven't heard yet i am planning on opening a new one again because i used to have one but i don't anymore but i'm planning on making a new one once i hit 50k subscribers
subscribers so if you'd like to help us get there then please subscribe and also like the video so that it'll get out there to more people but i hope you enjoyed this video and watching me build this beautiful house i'm really proud of how it turned out honestly it's beautiful if you ask me but i hope you enjoyed it i love you all so much and i will see you next time bye Mwah.